Hi everyone, it is Ray from Chipmunk Robotics. After the first two videos, uh, the feedback I received is that they are too difficult. Well, I want to remind everyone this series is the advanced Google Sheets tutorial for accounting and finance professionals. Uh, we are going to cover one simple trick uh, in Google Sheets related to split and join functions today. So most of us are familiar with um, text to columns. Uh, Google Sheets provides this functionality within the data tab. So if I go to data tab and the split to text columns function is here. Um, however, I found it almost always better to use the formula split uh, to perform the same task. For example, um, in this tab, we have the list of sales orders. Um, and I use the split formula to actually split the sales orders you know, by the digits. And then I use the join formula to join, to basically join the digits only. So I have a clean records of digits only sales orders. So sometimes a Google Sheets file uh, can be changing and additional records will be added. Uh, oftentimes, there is no guarantee that the same number of blocks uh, will persist in the future data. Uh, for example, here I, I couldn't simply drag the formulas down for the record number 7 because record number 7 has an additional block for which I, I didn't reserve a column for. So to show you the issue, let me drag this formula and you can see I have an error because uh, the text to split uh, basically need additional column uh, to fully split uh, the text in column B when record number 7. To resolve this issue, we will introduce a text to rows functionality by combining the transpose and the split functions. For example, by row 1 is showing us what the original records looks like after the transpose. So previously it was um, uh, in column B, and now I transpose it uh, in row number one. Then in row number five, uh, I can simply write a split formula to split the transposed records, and also split the output in rows instead of columns uh, by wrapping the split formula with another transpose here. Then I can dynamically join all the split rows uh, in row number three. Here I use join, but I start start from A5 to, all the way to the end of A, and it's dynamic. Uh, with this being done, it doesn't matter how many blocks a record is going to have. Uh, the split and join function will capture all of the blocks. For example, uh, here let me go ahead and add uh, 9999 to the record number seven. Let me hit enter and go back to the second tab. Now you see uh, the split is capturing 9999 and the join uh, function is dynamically capturing 9999 as well. So here we go. This is how to build uh, the dynamic uh, split and join uh, formula. Um, note, uh, there is one limitation though. Uh, when we first transpose uh, the number of records to the column. Google Sheets has a limitation in number of columns you can have. Uh, I believe the limitation is around 18,000-ish uh, um, columns you can have. Um, like I said earlier, uh, this is a very simple uh, video showing you the trick of using dynamics split and join functions within Google Sheets. Uh, hope you get a chance to use it in your work. Uh, thank you for watching.